Today I want to show you some unique parts for the ALS3 and some unique parts for the GC scanners. So actually now here's the ALS3, the brand new GC scanner. Here are some dots where we can start the scanning. So here is, we took the upper jaw inside and then we press the button for the upper jaw and the, the scanner is automatic moving to the right place for the set X. And now you can scan the model by printing or putting your finger on that table. You see now it scans automatically. It's not needed to go to the PC because we will bring the customer to the scanner and it's very easy to work on the scanner. So also you see what you scan. It's not a failure. We can't do failures to scan the upper drawer and you have put in the lower drawer inside because you see what you do. You took the lower drawer, put it into the scanner and then you press the button for the lower drawer and you see it will automatic move to the right place in the set X. Then you can press the start button and also it starts to move. That's something unique and patent for GC. I will show you the automatic occlusion. That's also a part of GC's unique things. So now we are finished. You see here the model. And then I want to go to the vestibular scan. After that, here is the button to press automatic occlusion. If you do it, the PC will calculate the models and will match them together. You will get a result, which is yeah, the same as you scan it or you scan both models. And it's not necessary to scan both models in, automatic, uh, in the occlusion. Now you see both models, the upper and the lower draw, and after that you will see like magic the fluent against in the right position. You see, now it's finished, and if I move those a little bit, you see everything is in the right occlusion, and now you are finished and you can, can design your work. Mm -hmm.